Today we are looking at solving equations algebraically, which is 10.4 in our textbook. Now, the two most important rules we need to remember when we are working algebraically is if we do something to one side of the equation, we must do the same thing to the other side to keep it balanced. And we learnt that in our last video. Okay, we also need to remember BOMDAS. We need to do that all the time in our algebraic equations. There's a slight twist to our BOMDAS that we're going to do, but um, remember BOMDAS. So that is brackets, other, such as exponents and square roots, uh, multiplication or division left to right, and addition and subtraction left to right. Okay, so in algebra, we are going to save the princess. This is our third and secret rule to save the princess. Okay, so solving an algebraic equation is like saving a princess. You need to knock down all of the guards so she can be free. Okay, so just think about it like saving Mrs. Ray. Okay, you need to look after me as I'm your teacher. Okay, so we use BOMDAS, but we use it in reverse. Okay, so we start by looking for the um, addition and subtraction, and we end by doing the brackets last. Okay, so we need to think about it as a sad mob, a sad mob of guards that we need to knock down so that we can save the princess who is the variable. Okay, we need to get through the weakest guards, so the weakest guards are the addition and subtraction. And then we can knock out the stronger guards, which is, is the multiplication and division. And then the strongest guard is the brackets. So we need to get rid of him last. Okay, so let's see if we can save the princess. I'll show you how you do it. So we've got this um, equation 6p plus 7 equals 67. So... The princess is obviously the P. I've put that for princess today. And we've got our sad mob down the side. What we're going to do is we're going to cross that off as we um, go through to make sure that we are doing it in the right order. So 6P plus 7 equals 67. So we need to look for any um, subtraction or addition. So it was subtraction or addition. Um, do we have that? We do. We have the plus 7. So we need to get rid of that by um, minusing 7. So we've got 6p plus 7. And, what, and then we need to get rid of that by minusing. So we need to cancel that out. And then we what we do to the left-hand side, we must do to the right. So we need to take the 7 away from it. Okay. So now we've knocked down those two guards. Um, there's no subtraction. We don't have to worry about that, but we've knocked down the addition. All right, now we've got the... Do we have division? There's no division, but we've got multiplication. So we need to get rid of him. So we need to divide to get rid of the multiplication guard. So we've got 6p divided by 6 equals 60 divided by 6, so we've got rid of him, so then p equals 10. Okay, you have, oh, we're crossing it off, and there's no brackets, so we don't need to worry about that, and there's no other. All right, so easy, saving the princess, let's do this. All right, so we'll do it again. Now, sometimes, in this example, the variable might be on the right-hand side, there's no difference, we still need to look at the order that we do it in and we still need to the goal is to save the princess so we're getting the variable by itself um, and getting rid of everything else around it in the order um, in reverse order of bomb deaths okay so we've got have we got any addition and subtraction now this is a bit tricky because we have got addition however it's in the brackets and that is the last thing we do so that is really this guard here, he's really the strongest, even though he looks, he's pretending to be the weakest one by having an addition there. He's in the bracket, so we need to wait and do that last. So don't get tricked by that. Okay, so there is no subtraction and addition that we need to work on. There is no division, 
either, but there is multiplication, so we need to do that first. So we've got, um, we'll just write it this way, so 4, so we need to divide by 4. Okay, and that cancels them out, but what we do to the one side we have to do to the other side, so that equals y plus 8. We could leave the brackets there, but we don't need to because it's just going to be that anyway. Um, okay, so we've got 80 divided by 4 is 20, and y plus 8. Okay, so we've knocked out the multiplication, there is no other, and now we're working on the brackets. Okay, so it's there's a plus 8 here, so we just need to take it away. And what we do to one side, we've got to do to the other side. So y plus 8 minus 8. And 20 minus 8 is 12. So y is 12. Okay, and remember we can we know we can work out whether we our answer is correct by substituting it into the equation. Okay, so 12 plus 8 is 20 times 4 is 80, and we can see that that is correct. Alrighty, let's do a bit of a trickier one. I'm going to do a few examples of this so that you can um, fully understand what you have to do. Right, so looking at our sad mob, we can see that we have a subtraction here. We've got a subtraction, so we need to work on that first. Um, so let's just write out the equation. Minus 4, we've minus 4, so we need to plus 4. So equals 62 plus 4. Now don't be fooled by the length of the equation. Still the same rules apply, so don't be freaked out if it looks like it's going to be tricky. You can do it. All right, so we're going to cross that off. So then we'll just rewrite it. 12 plus 2x equals 62 plus 4, 66. Righty-ho. Oh, there's a few things to do. So we've, we've done this one. Now there is an addition, but it's in the brackets again, so we need to make sure we do that last. All right, there's no division, but there is multiplication. So we need to divide by 3. So we can just divide by 3. Both sides to cancel it out. Equals 66 divided by 3 is 22. Okay, here we go. Now, this is a bit tricky too. We've got this 12 here, but it doesn't have an operation sign in front of it. It's behind it. What do we do? Okay, so you can tell that this is a positive 12 because there is no negative in front of it. If it was uh, negative, obviously there would be a negative sign. So we need to make sure that we... Uh, um, do the opposite, so this is a positive 12, so we need to take 12 away, okay? So we've got 12 minus 12 plus 2x equals, remember that this operation is part of this term, not part of the 12. Okay, so we've got 22 minus 12 because we did that to the left side so we have to do it to the right side so 2x equals 10 now we've got a oops we've got it now because it was in the brackets we have to divide so we're still doing the brackets divided by 2 equals 10 divided by 2 I've run out of room so we've cancelled it out x well, where am I going to write it? I'll just write it over here. X equals 5. 
Okay, easy enough. You can do it. Now it's your turn. Okay, I want you to pause the video and work this one out, please. Okay, so I hope you use the strategies that I've taught you. So we needed to do, is there a subtraction or addition? And there is subtraction, so we need to do that first. We need to knock him out. 3z minus 4 plus 4, because we do the opposite operation, equals 26 plus 4. Okay, so then we've knocked him out. Then we've got multiplication. So 3z equals, so that's 30. We need to divide. Z equals 10. Okay, we've done it. Knock them all out. We saved her. She's free. Okay, do it again. It wasn't just a trick. This is a bit trickier. Pause the video and do this one. Okay. So, I hope you weren't tricked by the brackets. That is the last thing we do, even if it's addition. So, we don't have any subtraction and addition to do first, or division. We have multiplication, however. So, we need to divide. I might just do the division here. 40 divided by 4. So, it's Q plus 8 equals 10. All right, we've done that. Now we have to do the brackets. Q plus 8. Whoops. Now I haven't been doing my colours. I've been naughty. Hopefully you remember to do it. Okay, Q equals 2. How did you go? I hope you were able to successfully solve these equations. All right, one last thing for you. Bit of a joke. My dentist told me I needed a crown. I was like, I know, right? Maybe the dentist was talking about some other crown, but I don't think so, because I'm a princess. Okay, let's go do this.